when Sepp Blatter urged women footballers to wear tighter shirts and skimpier shorts to make the female game more attractive. His words were viewed as the ramblings an old man who has lost touch with the world. But now FIFA's disgraced president has found ally the woman behind a new league that is being launched in Manchester. Gemma Hughes is the founder lingerie football league UK tournament that will see the players running around in their bras and knickers. And Hughes insists it is no wind up. She believes her idea will take off that it is the best way to attract much needed sponsorship to the women's game. I am 23 years old now and I don't want to be waiting another 20 years to see women's football make money from sponsorships. All money made is going to be put back into women's football and the players. This not about the players looking beautiful sexy about women looking like women. Lingerie leagues have already been formed the United States, Amata and Australia and Hughes hopes to get similar sized TV audiences for her new venture. Hughes describes herself as experiential marketer and lingerie blogger, he insists she is striking the blow for equality. She added. The highest paid female footballer makes £65,000 compare that to male footballers with wages skyrocketing into the millions. Women train as hard as men, women as dedicated to the beautiful game men, so women should enjoy the same rewards. Did you know head of the women's elite performance unit in sport is a man? Question mark LFL UK will increase public interest women's football so that women's teams can play to packed stadiums, just like the elite men's football teams.